Hey friends, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge, and it's time for another flashlight. I haven't done one for a while. This is by Phoenix, the FD41. I got it from everythingphoenix.com, which is the Canadian vendor for Phoenix flashlights. I've got a discount code for you, 12% off, down below in the comments. And uh, I think it's CCE2021. This coupon code's only good for this calendar year. They only ship to Canada. The FD41 comes with a nice sheath. We've got Velcro that holds it. A nice D-ring up here. It's a nice carry option. This thing maxes out at 900 lumens. So it's not super bright, but it's plenty bright for most of what you need to do. That's the turbo mode that can do it for five minutes. The rest of the time you're looking at 350 lumens or less. It's got four settings, low, medium, high turbo. The really neat thing about this thing is it's got a focus ring on the end. So it can focus the beam from flood to narrow. And uh, it's actually got a good quality ring here. You've, I've seen those cheap ones. I've actually had some of those cheap ones, you know, those $20 ones that just, they just break. This one's actually okay. It's got, it's in the tactical series. We've got this switch on it, tail, and then we've got a side button. So if you're interested, keep watching. All right, here I have it unboxed. If you saw the unboxing video, this is the box it comes in. It comes with this uh, holster slash sheath, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Velcro holds it in place. Uh, let's put it in there. So, you got a D-ring here, plastic, and then back here, it's a loop here if you want a belt loop to wear it on a belt, or you've got the uh, hook and loop there to put it on some kind of molly system, and it sits in there just fine. I have had it sometimes catch a little bit when I take it out when I have the tactical ring on there. So you've got this tactical ring. You can tie the lanyard off on that tactical ring if you want to. Let's see if I can get the light down. You can sort of see it right there. Or you can tie off your lanyard on the tail cap right there on either side. So here's your lanyard that it comes with. It comes with a thick string lanyard. Very often these strings are quite thin on these things. And you know, it's just a decent lanyard. Nothing super special. It says Phoenix on there. And you've got a rubber cap for the tail cap, so a replacement in case that wears out, because you're gonna love this thing and use it quite a lot. And a spare O-ring, which those things wear out as well. You also get a manual, and it comes in a number of languages. Before we get any further, here's the parameters. I'll put that on the screen so you can pause that and take a look at all the details of how bright it is and everything. Let's open this thing up and see what we got in here. Take the tail cap off. You can see that little bit of grease on there. You'll, if you don't have any lithium grease and you've got flashlights already, get some lithium grease. It's really good to keep your O-rings and the threads lubricated nicely. It comes with this battery, a 2600 milliamp hour 18650 battery with a charge port right there. So if you've got USB cables in your house, there you go. If you don't, order the cable separately. So you can charge it that way, or you can charge it in a standard uh, battery charger. You can buy batteries separate from Phoenix as well. I don't think we got good enough light to take a look in there. Yeah. It's got nice gold contacts in there. If you've got another 18650 battery, that'll work in here as well. Oh, some people might ask, can you use it without the tactical ring? And yes, you can. You can just unscrew that and there you go. You can use it without the tactical ring. You just have the thread sitting there. So it's your choice if you want to put that on or not. Tail cap, like I said, you know, that's that silicone rubber kind of material. I'm not sure exactly what that is. 
this switch is the function switch. That's actually stainless steel. So turn it on with a click or you can get momentary on by just holding it a little bit. Here we go. Just press it a little bit and it comes on or do a full click. And uh, the momentary on, I believe, has memory. Let's see. Let's, whoa, that's strobe. Just hold it for half a second steady and it goes to strobe mode. So that's really good. But let's uh, go down. That's on low right now. Let's go up one step. Turn it off. Turn it back on and it's at the same spot. Turn it off. Turn it back on. It's at the same spot. So you got memory and you've got four levels of power. Uh, high is 350 lumens and it can do that indefinitely and the 900 lumens it depends on how hot it is outside but it can go about five minutes it's got intelligent heat technology in there so if it gets too hot it'll drop the lumens down so it doesn't overheat if you are a canadian or you know northern europe or something and you're in a very cold environment you don't have to use the 18650 you can use the CR123A batteries and put two of them in there because those are rated for a whole lot colder weather temperatures than 18650 batteries are. I don't think the RCR123A batteries are any uh, lower temperature friendly than the regular lithium ion batteries are. RCR means the rechargeable CR123A. But I'm not an expert on RCR123A batteries, so just if you definitely want to be very cold friendly, get the CR123A batteries. So like I showed you, just hold that for two seconds and it goes on strobe. Does nothing if you don't have the power on. So power switch, function switch. The piece de resistance right here is the working end. There is what the thing looks like. It's got a total reflective uh, lens in there. And it goes from focal, focused to wide beam. And you just spin this. Notice how this comes in and out as you turn. And that changes the focal range. It doesn't turn super easily because you don't want it to change once you've got it where you want it. But you can turn it either way. In either direction that you spin this wheel is just fine. I'll show you some video outside of what that looks like. So that's low. Picnic table's right in front of us. Medium, high, turbo. So turbo, this is with it all the way out uh, wide. So uh, let's do a little twisting and focus the beam a bit. You like how that works? So it's a continuing rotating um, focus. So that's very well done. So 900 lumens gives you a lot of light. You don't really need a lot of light. After about five minutes, it'll knock down. So let's cycle back to 350. This is the 350 lumens now. So 350 lumens, you can still see, you can see the trailer back there, the uh, bird feeder looks just fine. Let's widen the beam. You see there's a dead spot in the middle as the flood goes wide. So I'll aim on that window there. See the dead spot grow? So when you're focused, just enough to get rid of that dead spot. You still have quite a wide beam. That right down in front of us. There you go. You can see most people know what the size of a picnic table is. So that is you know, two meters away. We should all know what two meters or six feet is. At least the close corner is about two meters away. So plenty, plenty of light. In the back alley, look at that. Lots of light way down. Those buildings over there, they're a hundred yards away. Yeah, my camera is not focusing all the time. So if you can see that far, that's plenty. hundred yards is good. And uh, just a lot of light. 
I don't know how often I'll use that wide flood because of that dead spot in the middle. So that's a little disappointing, but uh, you still get a fair bit of light for quite uh, the view. Besides the concentrated beam in the middle, the flood around it is quite large, even with this focus. So yeah, I'm pleased with this. Okay, some of the other basic specs. IP68 for this. So the, it's IPX8, but it's also IPX6. It's dust proof, dirt proof, whatever you want to call that. Uh, blowing dust, not going to get in here. And it's waterproof, IPX8 rated. That means two meters of water for at least 30 minutes. No problem at all. Which means any puddle, you know, a foot deep, it's going to be able to handle that for hours and hours and hours. I tested it at the bottom of a bucket for two days. That was about a foot deep. Zero issues at all. No water ingress whatsoever. So that's a good thing. Phoenix has got very good warranty. You got five year warranty on these things, which is just great. Some certain flashlights, depending on how they're made, have a lower warranty, but the vast majority of their stuff has got a five year warranty. Not like you know, one year or six months or whatever that you get on a lot of different flashlights these days. So their warranty is great. Uh, size, the length of it is 146 millimeters. That's five and three quarter inches. Let's move this stuff over so I don't get on it. Uh, the diameter here is one inch, 25.4 millimeters. The diameter here is 40 millimeters, 1.57 inches. It weighs with the battery, the 18650 battery, 206 grams, seven and a quarter ounces. Not bad. The grip has these knurls on it, pretty standard in the industry. This is aircraft grade aluminum with um, a very hard grade three anodization on it. I don't have any chips on it. I did do some drop testing on it. Usually they chip, so I must have been very lucky how it landed because I've dropped a number of flashlights for my testing. This one, for some reason, I only did the test once, but uh, it didn't chip. And uh, I dropped it on the head end because that's where this spinning mechanism is, and I thought that that would be what I wanted to test. So that's pretty much it for this flashlight. It's easy to control. I really like that it's very easy to get to strobe. It's fast to get to it without being complicated. Uh, it's very simple to operate. You know, you just tap it for the four different levels and it just cycles through the four different levels or that quick strobe. No other silly features. You know how a lot of flashlights have SOS. Who's gonna use SOS? If you're lost in the woods and you hear some sounds, just do this, get people's attention. A strobe light's going to grab attention even faster than an SOS will. So, I don't, it seems kind of silly to me about the SOS. But, you know, I think there's probably some uses for it. Well, that's it. The Phoenix FD41. I'm going to have more stuff from Phoenix. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, have a good one.